All right, boys. So uh, today I wanted to make this video because a lot of people have been talking about the collab, right? The rumored collab that was supposed to release a while ago, um, given that one leak we had, but nothing has been there since then. It's been a month now, right? It's been a decent amount of time. Let me say that now. Um, since we had any info or anything regarding the collaboration, so I wanted to talk about it and show you that after putting all the dates together of what we should see, it slims down to the only possible date of the collab being here. I will show it to you and talk about it. It's going to be pretty fun. And I wanted to bring this up now because we just got 300 gems. And before you all spend it, which you probably already have, I know you did. Just just be honest with me. You, you already spent it. Um, but if you didn't, you're saving. You're, you're making the right calls here. Be ready for it. Let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, also subscribe up, leave a like. It helps out massively. <laughs> All right, so heading over here to our beautiful uh, calendar. I know you love this thing. Um, this is something that I showed already like multiple times in different videos where I went over everything because we knew, yes, the current like entire trajectory that we got went this way. We had Awakening Season right here, Festival Go Through, Halloween Step Up, then um, DN. That's what it was, right? Before we thought it was Escanor and we thought it was a Step Up that was going to be, um, what was it, the Disasters? And that changed completely. It turned into Matrona and DN. So both of the things I was looking forward to got burned to a crisp, which is crazy, but that's fine. Um, moving up, right here, this is what we got. So JP, the only thing up and coming that we already know, given that last dev notes a while ago, they said it, that every other month will be a content update for um, Ragnarok. Then it will be also a content update um, on the following month of the Ragnarok one for the regular chapter. So that's what we know. That's how we've been basing everything off of. And so far, they wouldn't change that, right? We think. So to show it to you, the only possible dates we have left for a collab to occur without breaking the norm. Let's do that first. Or without breaking the norm, the only possible date we have for the collab will fall on this day right here. Yes, the possible collab release on the 11th for JP on November. So November 11th, right? That is the only logical one without breaking the norm. Now, if they follow a different method, it will break what we already know and what they might follow. So just remember the first one, first option, two weeks from now, JP will get it. So yeah, or more than two weeks. Well, ten, you know what I mean, three weeks. Let's go with that. So yes, now if you have these gems currently, the 300, that's what I'm trying to say, save them just in case, you know, you never know. Um, because what has to happen, again, unless they break the norm, so remember, usually a festival is like, occurs, then a collab occurs, that's what happens. So they wanna break the norm of Ragnarok, they could go and drop the festival, or the, rather the collab, on the 28th, and boom, you win. It could be the case, I'm just mentioning it because this day is a pretty much prime time for it. Um, and again, there is a stream that has to happen for this month. Right now, there hasn't been one yet, like we're still waiting for the announcement, um, which makes sense. We haven't got the announcement because on Monday of the following week, so the 25th, um, rather the Sunday. So again, it's either one of these days you should get the um, announcement of the festival collab, uh, Ragnarok stream, whatever you want to call it. So we will know next week what it is, right? There'll be the confirmation of it probably leading towards Ragnarok. And there you go. That is your update for October. That's how it's going to go. So you already know your next banner probably falling over here on, on, um, on Global. That is going to be Ragnarok. Now, following that, it very highly likely could be a collab. But we already know confirmed a JP anniversary has to happen, similar to how it happened before. Do you remember? Thanksgiving is, I think, the 25th. So what happens is, I think last year they did the same way where the JP anniversary felt like right before it. So it would make sense that happens again. So the JP anniversary is, it's again, that's the, that's the anniversary, right? The 2.5, um, that's when that occurs. So it has to be there. They already milked the festivals as it is enough. So it'll be there, 100%. Um, then going on to this week, right? The following week, the only other date you have for the collaboration to fall is if they go and break the tradition of releasing a um a holiday step up into a regular banner and there you go right they could fully possibly change it this time and where they skip the step up this year um or this time and then they go into a regular collab boom that's it right those are the only possible dates again 16 is the only there like date that occurs um then you have it over here being the 11th or if they want to break tradition they move right in rock and they put it there so for anyone asking, when is the collaboration? How is it happening? When is it happening? That's the only possible set of dates I could literally come up with because if they followed like how they've been doing it, Christmas should get a step up into a regular banner. They did it for summer. They did it for Halloween. I wouldn't put it past them to do it for Christmas because these way, like the way they do it, it sells numbers. Again, the reason they're doing more step ups is because more people are inclined to summon when the guaranteed character is only 250 somewhat gems in. So more people summon, which again, they profit more. That's why they do it. 
Um, given Matrona was this here, and because she became the bird destroyer, everyone summoned. Summer Roxy was different. She was waifu, so most people summoned for that reason. Um, she was terrible. Again, my opinion. Calm down. She was terrible. Be honest with yourself. You know that. You're just using waifu to, you know, have an excuse, but... She wasn't as great, so then most people didn't summon because of that. But again, if um, this next banner is waifu and great, everyone's summoning, you know that. So that's where they're going to go with that. So again, everything kind of checks out. So if you were waiting for a collaboration and if you were sitting there like, yo, when, when is it happening? It really possibly could be next week, right? We have the entire announcement, um, but then they will have to break tradition, remove Ragnarok for there. Um, if they do that, let's say it's a collab here, Ragnarok there, then JP Anniversary. You get two chapter updates back to back. It could be a win if you look at it that way. Um, but again, what will happen is if they do it where they put the collab, you know, over here or here, it'll be not after a festival, which they really haven't done that many times. So it could change the way they do it and it will end up being before a festival. So the way it irons out is a little bit scary. And then if they do not choose any of these possible dates and they scrap all of this, that means you are not getting a collaboration until January, right? Like, like think, thinking about it now, that means you're not getting it for a few months. So there's multiple ways they could do it. And again, I didn't really mention slime collab. I didn't really mention any uh, specific collab because we still don't know what the collab is. Given Netmarble's uh, shady statement about what they're doing with it, we really can't confirm anything about that. So we're just stuck in the air to, uh, to think about it and to hope and pray that it comes out. And if it doesn't come out being slime or any of those, that means, uh, yeah, they scrapped it and it will never probably release. And just remember, given this date right here is literally the release of Slime, um, the game, they could have pushed this back from the Slime team, like the devs or something, or I have no idea how it works, but they could have pushed it back so that they could promote their own game. Again, wouldn't Netmarble allow Slime to promote, um, or rather promote Slime in their own game? I don't, I, I doubt that, okay? I don't see Netmarble doing that, but they could, right? It could be a way of them putting it over here um, and the reason Bandai did it or the reason Slime did it or whatever is so that they can get a little bit of hype and drum up a little bit of a, a thing for their game that releases over here. Because if you think about it, the collab will last until there. So the collab will still be lasting in Grand Cross while Slime releases. So it could be a way of them promoting their own game. Um, but again, who knows? I'm just putting that out there. It could be a very viable option and uh we really don't know so there you go that's it that's all i wanted to talk about in this video just to go over everything and show it to you so if you were wondering what the next banner for jp is it's probably going to be ragnarok it could change but if they do want to break the tradition it will be a collab it will be something else um but again for this month we haven't had a stream yet so whatever banner it ends up to be i can confirm it will be a stream uh type banner if that's a ragnarok there you go or a collab there you go then again this month will either contain two streams or just the one being the JP anniversary, and we get a regular banner there. Then this one could be a step up for Christmas, possibly. And then it could also follow with like the regular um, Christmas banner following that. It could happen, but we will wait and see. And then I will talk to you about it when we get an update. That's been it for me. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to go over this and talk about the collab because I'm still waiting for it and saving for no reason. So that's depressing. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.